In this lesson today, we're going to be taking a look at how to write the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now, a quick reminder of what these lines are, beginning with parallel, these are simply lines in the same plane that do not intersect each other. So if we were to take a graphical approach to this, and I drew the xy graph, which is the xy plane, if I have two parallel lines, they're going to travel in the same direction and never intersect each other, which means from a graphing point of view or from an equation point of view, their slopes are going to be identical. They're going to be exactly the same. Perpendicular lines, however, are lines that intersect each other at right angles. For, so again, if I go back into my xy grid, the x and y axes themselves are perpendicular lines. Any vertical line and any perfectly horizontal line will be perpendicular. But if I go into other types, I would have to have one moving up and one coming down in such a way that they do form a right angle. So however that may be established, we have to have that effect. Now for parallel lines, if we go back, the slope of the first line has to equal the slope of the second line. However, for perpendicular lines, the slope of the first line would equal the opposite and what's called the reciprocal of the second. Parallel lines, if the first one is 5, the second one would be 5. Perpendicular lines, if the first one is 5, then the second one would be a negative 1 fifth. We simply take the fraction, all uh, slopes are given as a fraction format, or can be written as a fraction format. We turn the fraction upside down, that's called a reciprocal, and we change the sign. So if I have one line with the slope of a negative 3 halves, its perpendicular slope would be a positive 2 thirds. So we'll have to be able to play around with our fractions quite a bit and work with positive and negative numbers in this. But the main indicator of parallel or perpendicular lines is simply based around the slope. So let's take a look at a couple and see if we can identify parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So here we have a couple different setups of lines or information and we're going to identify whether each set if there exists parallel, perpendicular relationship, or neither. So in our first set where I have situation A and situation B, A we are told, passes through two points, negative 5, 3, and negative 6, negative 1. So if I take a look at this, the slope for those two points would be the change of the y divided by the change of the x, which moving from a positive 3 to a negative 1, my change of y, I go down 4, and then my change of x to move from a negative 5 to a negative 6, I also move down 1, my slope is simply 4. Then if I move on and look at my next set, my slope number 2 or my slope B, looking at my change of Y and my change of X, my change of Y, how do I move from a negative 2 to a negative 7? The answer is I move down 5. How do I move from a positive 3 to a negative, uh, to a positive 2? I move down 1, so my slope is 5. These slopes are different, but they're not opposite reciprocals, so these ones are neither parallel nor perpendicular. In the next set, we have three different lines. Let's call them lines 1, 2, and 3. Now, the nice thing about number 2 is that its slope is given to us. Slope 2 is given as simply being 3. The other ones we're going to have to work for. So for equation 1, 2x plus 6y equals negative 3. If I solve this for y, I subtract 2x, so 6y equals a negative 2x minus 3. Dividing everything by 6, y would equal a negative 1 third x minus 1 half. So my slope 1 is a negative one third. Now doing number three, 
I have negative 6y plus 18x equals 9. If I go through and solve this, I would have negative 6y equals a negative 18x plus 9. Dividing by negative 6, y equals 3x minus 3 halves. So my slope for number 3 is a positive 3. What this indicates as we look over the entire system is that lines 2 and 3 have the same slope, so those ones are parallel. And what I would say is simply write a sentence, line 2 is parallel to line 3. Line 1 has this slope that's the negative one-third. That is an opposite, went from a positive to a negative, and a reciprocal. We went from 3 divided by 1 into 1 divided by 3. So line 1 is perpendicular to both lines 2 and 3. So simply following through our process and isolating the slope of each equation tells us whether lines are parallel or perpendicular. But from the information we have and our ability to write equations, we can also write parallel or perpendicular lines. So given the base function, f of x equals 1 quarter x plus 1, and the point, negative 4, 2, we're going to do the following. First, we're going to write the parallel line through that point. So if my main slope was 1 fourth, then my parallel slope, and we'll indicate that by a slope and then a set of parallel lines, will also be 1 fourth. So I know my slope, and here, negative 4, 2, I know my point. Easiest way to write an equation will be point-slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Using this, y minus 2 equals 1 fourth times x minus a negative 4. Or, other words, y minus 2 equals 1 fourth of x plus 4. That is a valid equation, but if we want to go further, we can distribute and simplify. So we get y minus 2 equals 1 fourth of x plus 1. Adding the 2 to each side, y equals 1 fourth x plus 3. Now, how do I do this when I'm looking for a perpendicular line? Well, I start out by saying my slope original was 1 fourth. So my slope perpendicular, using a little perpendicular symbol, would be the opposite reciprocal. So I have a positive 1 fourth, I'm going to end up with a negative 4. Now, going through the same process, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I have y minus 2 equals a negative 4 times x minus a negative 4. Simplifying this, y minus 2 equals a negative 4 times x plus 2. Distributing, that is a valid equation by the way, but distributing and carrying it out further, y minus 2 equals a negative 4x minus 8. Adding 2 to each side, y equals negative 4x minus 6. So given a point and a line, we can create either a parallel line or a perpendicular line. Now in algebra, these are going to be helpful for finding uh, what are called s solutions to systems of equations. But also as you move forward into geometry, when you plot points and make shapes on the xy plane, these parallel perpendicular lines will help to establish different types of shapes, such as right triangles or rectangles based on the different sides. So get a little bit of practice, look over these, and make sure you're ready to use it.